Yeah, let me just start. Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to our virtual EPFL symposium on the lost landscapes of neural networks. I'm happy to see so many of you tuned in for the start of this symposium. Overall, there'll be about 100 people and that looks great to me. Uh, and since we got some statistics, I can tell you that about half of the audience consists of PhD students, some from EPFL, but also from many other places. And the half, other half spreads over postdocs, faculty, researchers from various institutions, public and private, and so on. So the audience is larger than I hoped, and that's probably an indication that the lost landscape is an important topic. Well, somehow we all know that optimization means walking down the lost landscape, but I have the feeling that 10 years ago, not so much was known about how the lost landscape really looks like for the case of neural networks with many neurons. And I'm looking forward to learn more, to get an up-to-date view during this workshop on recent results that appeared in the last few years. So my name is Wilfram Gerstner. I'm working here at EPFL in the field of computational neuroscience. And so in my normal professional life, I'm mainly interested in making models of how the brain works, mathematical models of the brain. So the question is, how did I get involved in organizing together with Clément Hongler, a workshop, workshop on the lost landscapes in artificial neural networks? Well, I've taught artificial neural networks for many years to computer science students, but in 2006, I stopped teaching it because it became old fashioned compared to other machine learning methods. And then in 2018, the computer science department asked me again to develop a modern course on deep learning and artificial neural networks. And I wanted to reserve two lecture hours to explain to my students how we could imagine the lost, lost landscapes. How does it look like? So I started to sit down making drawings of minima arising from permutations. And I said, there should be, there should be saddles in between. And then I realized, well, it's a bit more than just class preparation. So I said, let's do a semester project with a student. And then this turned into a joint, jointly supervised PhD student, jointly supervised with Clément Hongler. And now today, I want to learn even more about the topic so that the next edition of my class can be even better. And I'm really looking forward to all the talks. A big thank you to all the speakers for having accepted our invitation to speak here. Just a few technical details. Each talk lasts 30 minutes. Afterwards, there's a question session. Please use the Q&A, not the chat, for asking questions. The session chair will read out your questions to the speaker during the question session, and then the speaker will answer. Let me now hand over to our first session chair. The first session will be moderated by Volkan Cheper. Volkan is professor of signal processing at EPFL and has a long-standing interest in machine learning and optimization, and in particular, the topics of this workshop today and tomorrow. Volkan, please take over. Thank you, Wolfram. Um, I'm also interested in optimization, optimization for machine learning. I think some of these topics are universal. 